Good afternoon. Welcome to the Minstead Trust online uh, training opportunities. And uh, today I'm going to show you a variety of um, seed sowing things that you could do at home. So for example, if you come a bit closer, I'm going to show you how to plant some sunflower. And this will be a bit of fun at home, growing in a pot so you know you can have, and then put them on social media and see how tall you can get your sunflowers. Um, we've got some courgette, and these are aptly named Gold Rush, and you can grow them in your plot in, or a pot in the garden. And then there's a variety of squashes, but we've chose, for example, butternut squash, because everybody knows a butternut squash, and you can make all sorts of recipes with it. So, I'll show you a variety of ways to do it, and uh, using general purpose compost, you can get all these things now from the supermarkets, they're, you know, they're in abundance there at the moment, so to sow our sunflower, for example, I'm going to use some pots which I picked up at a local supermarket last night, these are fibre pots, and the easiest way to do them is just loosely fill the pot, not compact it, the sunflower seeds which I'll show you look like I'm sure everybody knows what a sunflower seed looks like but just for example and of course for the good thing about sunflowers what you're doing not only is it bright and cheer up your day it's also very good for wild birds and that throughout the winter for food so you just take one sunflower some people say plant two in it but I just cannot kill the weak one so I just put one seed on its edge into the pot, top it up and pant it off, pat it off. And then equally I'm going to put it in the, the water to soak. The same as what we did with the tomatoes. So I'll just show you another example. So again you can buy these pots very very cheaply or you can make your own like we did with the paper ones the other week. another sunflower and again put it on its edge because so it doesn't damp off and get and rot away pass it off again and then there. so it's a bit like blue peter I'll move this over to one side there and bring in our lovely courgettes now courgettes of course this day and age we can spiralize them and make our very own rice with them you can easily cook them with butter with your Sunday dinner or you can just let them grow oversized into a massive marrow and stuff them. So these seeds are rather big and easier to plant. So there they are. So they're very much, they look like large cucumber seeds and they look very much like butternut squash seeds as you'll see in a minute as well. So here we go. So for that, I'm going to put it in a round pot, but equally you can put them in these, but they do need to be in a pot really and let them grow on so you can transplant into a larger pot when they're big enough. But in a later session we will, I will show you how to do that. So again fill the pot up and it's very much the same principle. So what you want to do is pinch them on the side, poke them in on their edge like so, and then a small bit of compost on top touch the pot to shake them off. I'll just show you one more. So again, on its edge, top it up, and into soak. So we'll move that one on. And the last one is going to be the butternut squash. So these seeds again are quite big and very similar to the courgette. So for that I'm going to put them in a square pot so that I don't mix them all up. Otherwise I'll let them all grow and then I'll have to find out what they are because they'll very, look very similar except for the sunflower of course. So when we go again, again very much on their edge into the pot and 
top it off into the water to soak. Once more. Onto the ridge. Into the pot. And just because we had the, uh, the frost last night and um, many of you will be waking up this morning and finding all your beans that have been burnt, potatoes have been scorched. We've been quite lucky up here because we've got the walled veg garden, it's very much a microclimate and everything has survived. But I know for example down in Tottenham in the allotments, it's took away most of your potatoes and burnt the beans. So I'm going to quickly just show you how to plant beans, the second flush, to plant out in June. So I'm going to use a basic root tray in a pot, just for quickness. I'm going to fill this up with compost again. Because don't forget, a lot of people would have done this about three or four weeks ago and actually lost all the beans. So this is a runner bean variety and generally because they're black and purple it means that they've got a red flower. If you're planting white ones it means you've got a white flower. So it's your choice really. I mix them about a bit just to make it look very nice in the garden. So with that all I do it's a very quick fix is push them down on their end into the pot. And it's a very quick way of planting. You can plant them straight into the garden, but you don't know the birds will be around, the mice will eat them, and at least you're guaranteed to know what plants have, have germinated in here. So then top them up, a quick touch up, into the water to soak away. And generally these need to be kept reasonably warm and frost free, so if you have got a greenhouse obviously very well, or in your conservatory on a windowsill in a warm place. So thank you for watching this movie this afternoon and uh, I wish you keep safe, keep alert and uh, wash your hands. Thank you very much.